This is a problem of JE 2003. The problem is as follows. If Z is a complex number satisfying modulus Z is equal to 1 and Z is not equal to minus 1, then the real part of this W is equal to Z minus 1 by Z plus 1 is. So these four options are given. This is an objective type question. I will solve this problem using three, four different methods. Why to solve same problem using different methods? The answer is very simple. You should be aware of all the different methods by which you can attack a problem because you never know which method or which line of attack will be helpful when you are given a problem in the exam. When you are trying to solve the problem in your home or in, in your class and you have got leisure time, you should always try to explore different methods or different line of reasoning to arrive at the same answer. In this question, W is equal to Z minus 1 by Z plus 1 and we have to find the real part of this complex number W. A very straightforward method of finding the real part of any complex number is to try to break it into real part plus i times imaginary part. In this question, a straightforward approach is to multiply the denominator by the conjugate so that in denominator you only have the modulus term that is the real term and then you can manipulate the numerator will be the conjugate of this thing z plus 1 conjugate if you try to take it will be z conjugate plus 1 1 conjugate is 1 so let's multiply both the numerator and the denominator by this thing which is the conjugate of this so this will be z minus 1 into z plus 1 divided by now z plus 1 into conjugate of z plus 1 will be z plus 1 modulus square and this is a real number modulus of any complex number is real so this is the real number let's work with the numerator so i will get when you multiply this z into z conjugate will be mod z square this minus 1 into will be minus 1 plus then you will get plus z minus z conjugate and divide by this modulus square now you see this it has been given that modulus z is equal to 1 so modulus z square will be 1 so these two terms will cancel out each other so let's remove this these two terms ultimately in numerator we are just left with this z minus z bar and now we have to recognize that what is z minus what is z minus z bar for any complex number it's very simple suppose a complex number z is x plus i y and you minus z conjugate will be x minus i y you minus it then your x and x will be cancelled so z minus z bar of any complex number is 2 i y that it is equal to 2 i times y divided by some real number here so what is this complex number this complex number is purely imaginary because this i is sitting here and this is y is real this thing is real so since this complex number w is purely imaginary then the real part has to be zero so zero is the answer so this is one method method number one now let's solve the same problem using a different method this omega is equal to z minus one by z plus one okay and it has been given that mod z is equal to one the moment any complex number is given by this condition i can write z is equal to e to the power i theta this is very simple so if you write z is equal to e to the power i theta here e theta minus 1 divided by e to the power i theta plus 1. Now you may think that this is a very cumbersome kind of expression but, but there is a very easy way to reduce it in a simpler form. You multiply both the numerator and the denominator by e to the power minus i theta by 2. Once you multiply both the numerator and denominator by this thing you will get this will become e to the power i theta by 2 minus e to the power minus i theta by 2 divided by this will again become e to the power i theta by 2 plus e to the power i theta by 2 minus you can see this once you multiply by this thing now you can realize this what is this those of you who remember the formula of sine theta or say sine theta is e to the power i theta minus e to the power minus i theta by 2i so exactly this instead of theta here you are having theta by 2 so this thing 2i times sine theta by 2 similarly the denominator is it is 2 cos theta by 2 now you divide it 
2 2 will be cancelled so you will get w is equal to i times tan theta by 2 so this w is a purely imaginary number so this real part has to be zero another method which is very similar to this method is using the trigonometrical formula mod z is equal to 1 then we can write instead of e to the power i theta i can write z is equal to cos theta plus i sin theta then you will get w is equal to cos theta minus 1 plus i sin theta divided by cos theta plus 1 plus i sin theta then you can use the formula of 1 minus cos theta is equal to 2 sin square theta by 2 and then again after you do this ultimately you will, you will reach at the same step that w is equal to i times tan theta by 2 so this is a very similar method related to the previous method now let's solve the same problem using fourth method and this time i am going to use geometrical properties of complex number we have been given that this number is w is equal to z minus 1 by z plus 1 and mod z is equal to 1 so mod z is equal to 1 it means that this is the black circle that z is mod z is equal to 1 so my complex number z can lie anywhere on this circumference and i have to find in real part of this thing now this is minus 1 this is plus 1 what are these minus 1 and plus 1 points if your circle is mod z is equal to 1 then this will be 1 where it is intersecting the real axis and this will be minus 1 this circle is given by mod z is equal to 1 so suppose this is my point z z minus 1 z minus 1 is this vector this is z this is 1 so this is my z minus 1 and what is z plus 1 z plus 1 is this vector so ultimately z minus 1 is this and z plus 1 is this so this is omega is equal to z minus 1 by z plus 1 this is the point z and this is the z minus 1 vector and this is the vector z plus 1 so what is the angle between these two vectors this angle we know it is since this is diameter this angle will be 90 degree argument of w is equal to pi by 2 so if any complex number is having argument as pi by 2 what will be the real part cos pi by 2 zero so again the zero answer we have got so this is a very cute method of solving this problem using geometrical properties of this complex number this is z minus 1 and this is z plus 1 so the argument will be given by angle between these two vectors which is pi by 2 there is one shortcut and trick also but i won't recommend that you should solve this problem using that trick because you won't get to learn anything i think it's a pity that the paper setters set a problem like this in which a student can solve this problem without doing any calculation just by observing one very simple thing you see this mod z is equal to one and z is not equal to minus you can see the condition mod z is equal to one is satisfied by z is equal to one also whatever be the value of this real part this should be satisfied for this z is equal to one also but the moment you put z is equal to 1 here you get omega is equal to 0 z minus 1 0 so real part has to be 0 all these three answers cannot be satisfied for the case z is equal to 1 i am using a special case of z is equal to 1 and seeing that what will be the value of this omega in the special case of z is equal to 1 so using that special case of z is equal to 1 i am getting that this omega is 0 so the real part has to be 0 but this method should not be applied of course in exam if you just have to get marks somehow then there's no harm because in objective anyway the paper checker will not come to know whether you have have solved this problem using this trick instead of giving all these four options if the paper setter had just given one of the dummy options like these options as something like say z minus 1 whole square divided by z plus 1 modulus whole square something like this option so suppose one of the dummy options was this then ultimately you cannot apply this trick because in that case for z is equal to 1 also this will turn out to be 0 so the paper setters would have done a good job by giving this as one of dummy options in place of any of these a b c